Right, what I've decided to do is go ahead myself bit by bit under instruction of various experts who I know to uh, assess where we are with this uh, coolant loss. So what I've done, I've jacked it up the front end and basically chocked all that wood underneath under there because that beyond there is the sump cast sump so I've got to take the uh, axle off and then that'll uh, allow me to get the sump off so basically I jacked it at the front end first and then uh, put those uh, block that block and those bits of wood underneath so it's supporting on there I've also chopped the wheels at both sides what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, put a block and some bits of wood and just support just jack the axle and just support it so I can get uh, the pins out there's that pin there to come out this steering arm to come off and that pin there look and then that should release the axle right we're uh, back on the uh, tractor gathered up a bit of uh, enthusiasm to uh, disassemble this uh, axle so right we're going to take this uh, bar off here first which connects up to the uh, steering wheel mechanism we'll get that undone Okay, we've got to take that, uh, there's a bolt there, look. One at the other side as well. So, that's to come out. And, that's to come off as well. So we'll get both of these off, and then the axle hopefully should drop. Hopefully not on top of me. Right, I've managed to get the uh, jack under and I'm hoping I've uh, balanced the axle on the jack. Looks a bit precarious but uh, I've taken the weight of it so I can get this pin out and the rear pin out and uh, hopefully get it to uh, drop down. it that's the front pin out that's the back pin out that was quite uneventful I thought that was going to drop quite considerably but uh, yeah that uh, jack has obviously done the job okay I've pulled the uh, blocks away now from under the wood under the wheels it was uh, just it was taking the weight as well so I'm just gonna uh, take a bit more weight off now hopefully uh, we'll get the axle down a bit lower Bingo. 
we're out. Right, we've got the uh, sump supported now while I uh, get all these bolts out, as you can see up there. There's quite a few to get out, some a little bit awkward. Um, yeah, I've been told to get the most awkward ones out first, just so it's not just supporting on those and uh, potentially shearing off. So get the awkward ones out first. And then uh, hopefully we've got the weight of it there, or the jack under as well. Okay, working our way around, taking these bolts out. I've been round them all just to uh, get a start on them. Just to loosen them, so just a case of now going round and uh, getting them all out. Barring uh, four, I think. I'm going to leave four in and just uh, take those out a bit at a time. That's it, we've got it moved. So it's just a case of uh, just lowering this jack down just to uh, get that uh, lowered down. That's the last bolt out. So it, we've got her down. It's just a case of manhandling that now to get it to uh, get it off completely. Right, that's the sump off virtually. Just got to have a tidy up under here just to get it out. But uh, yeah, she's down. Right, we're back on the Fordson Major to try and uh, sort out this uh, water coolant entering the oil uh, I'm now on with a job that I've never done before so that is going to be uh, taking the head off so as you can see I've took the rocker cover off top hose fuel lines uh, temperature sensor and air filter pipe there so this is uh, definitely going to be a learning curve for me taking that head off but uh, bit by bit I'm sure it's uh, within my grasp right I've had a massive help with this project and that is while I've been working my friends John and Trevor have come down and took off the cylinder head which is absolutely fantastic of them been a good help as that and they've popped coolant in here at the sides of the bar and have told me to uh, put a piece of cardboard underneath which I have done and as you can see there's still bits coming through and if I can uh, get I can't really sort of like uh, film that but uh, I'm gonna get a torch and see if it will come up any better basically the bottom of the uh, liners 
which is where uh, it's leaking from. Not so sure whether that's picking up, but it's up there where it's leaking, bottom of the uh, liners. Right, what I've done now, let's get this into focus, is I've been advised by Tony, I've popped a bit of cardboard, a square bit of cardboard, under the bottom of each liner, as you can see there, because what we've got to work out apparently is which liner has to come out, I suppose it's pointless. Um, taking every liner out, all four liners, so piece of square cardboard under each liner and I've also put a see better now cardboard underneath I've numbered it I don't know whether that's correct 4, 3, 2, 1 etc drained it off to start off with before doing this uh, shut it back off again, funnel on, so obviously I don't want any drips to go into the cardboard giving me a false indication and I've topped it back up with coolant right to the top. You can see that well there look, she's level, it's on a bit of an angle but it's full up so it's a case now of giving this enough time to see if we can see which uh, liner to come out right we're back on the major again and uh, we are getting somewhere now I've now got the help of expert friend Steve Barker so me and Steve are taking it here onwards expert advice um, yeah can't go wrong with Steve so right what have we done so we've got the liners out long last I've always wondered what the liners look like there we go all four liners those are the o-rings that they seal down onto and uh, yeah I'll uh, I'll just show you inside the block so as you can see that's the top of the block the liners slot down into here and if I can get my uh, camera down you can see a recess all the way around where the rubber seal the o-ring goes into uh, so you can see better with that one but basically o-ring in silicon sealer Silicon sealer on the liner, and uh, in we go. Hopefully, we'll get a better seal this time. Right, we're back working on the major again now, and I've got a very good friend of mine, Steve Barker, who is uh, expert at this job. And what we've done, we've got the liners back in, haven't we, Steve? We have, yeah, yeah. Pot two was a bit tight like but we managed to get it in bit by bit but Steve will probably just explain well, now why it was tight we do uh, not know we had a right struggle putting number two in yeah but we took it back out again and redid the silicon because it was going off but we've put plenty of silicon in this time and obviously we've but put some threads and some wood down so that it's pushed the liners right down to the base clean this underside out as well yeah plenty of sealer on yeah and um, the one, reason one, three, and four just went in perfect, didn't it? You did, no yeah. problem at all, as it, as it should have done. But Unbelievable. number two, she was just tight for some reason, very tight. But uh, we're in now. The piston on number two had gone tight because the water's leaked out. We think through number two, we aren't really sure. No, um, but we've put a lot more sailor in. I think when it had come back from the engineering spot, they hadn't put enough sailor in. So we've put a lot more on, not too, too much so you get hot spot or anything, but. We were nearly ready to put the pistons back in and 
that's a new liner so yeah and, and a just... new pistons going in there because this got tight yeah because of it getting hot yeah so it got really tight and we're and just going to put some coolant in now aren't we stay just like so far up and just see how, see how that goes just check it with some dye in as well got some we're red, gonna red dye we're going to put some cochineal in yeah. and put some um, cardboard on the floor yeah and if we see any red dots we know that that's where it's from and nowhere else it could walk could be coming from somewhere else dripping off um, condensation or anything so yeah. or it can be oil but if we see red cochineal we know she's we know. leaking we'll and if leave. it is we don't know what we're gonna do but we'll do something we will do it we will brilliant cheers Dave grand job right we're back on the major again I'll uh, I'll just guide you to what we're uh, what we've done so far so that on there there was a brass tap and the threads into the block were not so good so I've tapped it out a little bit bigger put that bolt in with some uh, silicon gasket sealer so I'm hoping that's going to seal well we've got the liners in so what I'm going to do now is uh, put some uh, red cochineal food colouring in some water and uh, put plenty in not too much because I don't want it dripping where it shouldn't be dripping and we're going to put some cardboard underneath to monitor if we've got any leaks from the liners after uh, getting them put back in so hopefully we'll be watertight <laughs> 